I want your edits to look like this. I'll show you how in under three minutes with no plugins needed. All right, let's jump right in there. We're using the bad time, little tech of video for this example. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find two clips that we wanna transition between. All right, now that we have the two clips that we're gonna transition between, we're gonna go to the last frame of the first clip and then you'll see this little camera icon. You're gonna click that camera icon and the destination that you want it to be saved to. Once we have that, we're gonna get the first frame of the second clip and save that. Now that we've got the two screen grabs, we're gonna take it over to Pixverse. I've linked that in the description below. You'll see a prompt box here at the very bottom. You wanna make sure that you toggle over to transition. You're gonna upload the first screen grab to the first spot and the second screen grab to the second spot. Now that we've got the screen grabs uploaded, you're gonna see a prompt area. I typically leave that blank and then we're gonna finally hit the create button. All right, so now that the render is done, we're gonna go ahead and download that over. You'll notice that there is a watermark on it. We're gonna take one extra step and we'll bring that over to one, two, three apps and where we will be able to remove that watermark. Once we've got that watermark removed, same thing, we're gonna download it again, save it, and we're gonna bring it back into Premiere. So now that we have it back into Premiere, we're gonna go ahead and delete the last frame of the first clip, as well as the first frame of the second clip. We'll leave some space there and then we'll drag in our AI transition. Now that we've dragged in our AI transition is we're gonna right click and go to speed duration. We're gonna bring that to 900. That is the base of the transition. However, we are gonna take a couple of extra steps. All right, so we're gonna bring in a adjustment layer. Typically it is going to be 10 frames prior to the AI transition and about five frames after the AI transition. Once you've clipped your adjustment layer, we're gonna go ahead and go to our effects panel and bring in mosaic. Within the effects control panel for that adjustment layer, we're gonna go down to mosaic and we'll set a keyframe at the beginning of the adjustment layer, both horizontal and vertical at a thousand. Then we'll bring it to where the AI clip starts at and we'll set it to about 65. Now we're gonna hit the keyframe button again, about four frames prior to the AI clip ending, keeping that keyframe at 65. The final keyframe will be both vertical and horizontal back at a thousand at the end of the AI clip. Now we're gonna highlight all the keyframes, right click and ease in. So that's the basis of this effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications for our next upload.